All right. <clears throat> what we got going today is uh, a way bar is acting up. And um, last night, uh, my younger brother was working the feed lane, and when he ran off the last group of feed, he called me and said uh, that uh, something happened, that the feed wagon was empty, but it said 1,200 pounds were still in it. And uh, so then this morning when I got here, I started mixing up feed, and I noticed it was a little off, kind of acting funny. Um, I really noticed that when I mixed up the second load, I, uh, I dumped uh, 5,000 pounds of baleage in. And then after I dumped the last scoop in, I backed up, and I just sat there for a minute letting it mix, and I was watching the scale, and it went from 5,000 to 5,600. Uh, and then uh, it was really acting weird when we were feeding the last two two groups so figured out it was something to do with the wave bar obviously that's that was kind of you know I first check connections and stuff like that and it wasn't that thought maybe something had water in it from the rain yesterday but I mean that's that's highly unlikely so uh, what you can do to test it's got four wave bars so it's got one here one on the other side one in the back and then one on the other side and the whole tub, the tub and the conveyor sits on those way bars. Um, and the way bar is like, if you can see here, the wagon, the tub part is actually sitting like free floating on the way bar. And then the way bar, the back side of it is bolted to the frame. And that's how you get your weight. And so, a way to test to see what your way bars are doing or uh, a way to see if you know if one's acting up or not is to unhook them so we numbered them one through four and then we here's the other ones just number four was here so um, we unscrewed all of them except for one left one up this one goes to the monitor and then these are to the way bars. So unscrewed three of them, left one screwed in, and zeroed the monitor. Just press zero up here and hold it. Okay, and then so if you can tell, now that I got the way bar screwed in, it went up to 2480. So now if I zero it, it should stay there so it's not moving so that's uh, now I'm going to unscrew it yeah okay so then the deal is here is so we, we checked each one and the uh, second one here which goes to the back would be the back right hand corner if you're standing behind a wagon uh, when it was screwed in by itself it was jumping all over the place you know it would zero it and it would just immediately start going you know it would go uh, negative positive whatever either way it, you know go up to two or three four thousand pounds and then start dropping and then going back up so obviously that tells you that that one's bad because the other three held zero. And then what we did is to see if we could go ahead and mix up feed is we put uh, the three back in um, and had my younger brother who's about 200 pounds, had him stand on the conveyor and it said he weighed 400 pounds. So that ain't going to work. It needs all four of them. Um, so we pulled in here on the concrete where we could roll around underneath it and then had to uh, all the all the cords or all the wires are the same length from front to back, so they all read the same. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm about 99% sure. So anyway, all the excess cord is wrapped up here. Had to unwrap it all, you know, and and follow the the number two back, and then it ended up uh, back here in the back right corner. So 
so the way bar that's the way bar right there this is bolted in on the frame and then the wagon free floats actually floats in on the spacer that spacer sits right in there and then the way bar is in on there so the weight of the wagon sits on that um, yeah, so you just had to cut the wires back, you know, tie wraps and stuff like that, and pull it all out. Unbolt this. Unbolt this off there. Uh, and take the bolts out of the way bar. Uh, jack it up to slide it out. And so that's what you're about to see now. Right now we're waiting on my, uh, we sent my mom again to Silver Springs to uh, get the way bar. They had one in stock. Uh, hope to God it's the right one. Um, but we're waiting on her to get back right now and uh, once she gets back we'll shove it in but the part you're about to see right now is the wave bar actually coming out so
So that, it's got a, uh, right up in there, it's got a sleeve that's welded in. So then, so I guess we just sit here and jack it up and down until uh, we get it to wiggle out, I guess. room to work on it though. It should come. Uh, I don't know if that this this ain't gonna clear that in time. If that makes sense. I mean you go sliding out I don't think there's you ain't gonna because this part of it's like a six inches long. So you may have to jack up more. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah, keep going. You gotta get more. Not a whole lot more, but. Shit, it ain't gonna clear. Rut row.
Put it down. You still got a little, like a little bit of slack you could pull out. Okay. You got all, like three of them there? Oh, there's the other one right here. I got it. Let's go around one time. This fourth one still pretty long. Okay. Zero staying at zero. I got them all plugged in. Oh. Uh, I'm hanging on it. And it's staying right there. There I go. Back to zero. Is it fixed? I think so. How much do you weigh? Uh, what, two on? Two ten. Well, we got that fixed so far. Well, it says negative 10, but that's kind of normal. Uh, we got two loads of feed to go mix up. First side of cows are coming in for the afternoon, so we're way behind now. And uh, we'll go see if it, uh, we'll go see if how, how it weighs, see if it fixed it or not. Pretty sure we did. So right now we got it zeroed. Uh, we're gonna dump first scoop in. And it's just sitting there at zero, so that's good. Uh, earlier today it was, you know, going all over the place. So to negative 200, to plus a thousand, to negative 2,000, just kind of going haywire. Yeah, seems pretty accurate. 
back here, right there. Okay, that's 4,500. 4,500 pounds right there. So this morning, I actually had put like 5,000 pounds in and I had stopped, backed up, stopped just about here. And I was sitting here watching it, just kind of seeing if the, to see if it was working or not, or if it was doing anything funky. And it was kind of like I blinked and then it said 5,600. Uh, so, I mean, it was just uh, skipping all over the place. You know, I guess you made it kind of like a glitch or, uh, you know, just, Haywire. All right, so 12,680 pounds. Uh, you know, driving down here and everything, everything looked good. So we're gonna start running off feet now, and it should be a steady drop to, uh, you know, let me think where we're going. Uh, we're gonna go to like 50, probably around 5,600 pounds. Yeah. I have fed enough feed. Uh, I have fed enough feed in my life to know about how much, uh, you know, what it looks like coming out and what's on the ground to know uh, a really close guess to how many pounds have come out. It's kind of how I had had to feed this morning, and uh, and now kind of had to mix up feed that way too. But um, so I mean, so far everything looks pretty good. Looks pretty accurate. Uh, yeah. And there's no really telling how why that one broke. It could have just got jolted, it, you know, in a bump, or or somehow got. I don't know how it would have got wet from the rain. Could have been something about a lightning strike. Uh, I didn't see any lightning strikes, but uh, could have had something to do with that. Could have been from when I got stuck the other day and it just got in a bind with a lot of pressure on it or something and just just screwed it up. And it just took a few days. I mean, obviously from last night to, uh, through the feeding this morning, it got worse and worse and worse. So uh, it could have been, you know, that to do with it. Um, I'm gonna stop to feed the last five cows because I gotta open the gate in front of me. All right, I got the gate open. Uh, so we're at 73 right now. So that's fine. Now we're going to have to feed a little bit in reverse. Um, I know my dad hates this. He always asks me why I can't feed in just one pass. Uh, I can sometimes. But uh, I don't like riding the clutch. I like to just put it in a, in a gear that's going to end up close to the uh, to the amount that I need to put out. I got all screwed up, you know. And uh, anyway, so I like to put it in a gear that is uh, close to the amount that needs to be fed off. You know, my uh, ground speed with the flow of feed to where at the end of the however many cows I'm feeding for. Uh, I like to just leave it in a gear that's close and you know, kind of hope at the end that I'm, I don't have to back up, but uh, that's just so I don't have to ride the clutch and, uh, and I don't have to pay attention as much. You know, and I, I definitely don't want to end up uh, Overfeeding the front half and, and uh, not feeding it up to the back half or something like that. Uh, I like to try to make it as even as I possibly can so that every cow has a fair shot of feed uh, and that uh, nobody's being overfed and nobody's being underfed. So, 
Right now I'm just going back and doctoring up some places that are a little thinner. So I get to my 5600. 5590, 5600. A little bit of bouncing around, 20, 30 pounds. I mean, that's normal on, you know, driving down the feed lane. And, you know, I mean, it's not rough like a road, but, or not rough like a driveway, but it uh, has a little bit of a bounce to it. So, you know, obviously, uh, it's pretty accurate. back to zero I would say the uh, I would say the scales are working perfect now so I would say the scales are working perfect now um, you know I mean kind of threw a wrench in getting anything else done today you know uh, taking the old one off and then had to wait a little bit for the part to get here and all that and now I'm feeding and I should have fed this six hours ago but uh it is what it is. Can't ever predict what's going to happen. Uh, you just got to be ready for it and get it done. Uh, when stuff like that happens, priorities come first. And getting the cows fed is uh, one of the top priorities. So uh, everything else gets put to the side and can wait. So with that being said, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.